All right, here we are again. The balls are broke. Ah, you have a shot on the one, so you're saying to yourself, I won this game. This game's mine. It's all I need is a shot on the one, and I can figure out the rest. So where's the six balls? Six balls down here. Now, closest pockets to the six balls here, so you're probably going to shoot the six in there. Here's a five. Where do you want to be on the five to get to the six? So while I'm looking at this and trying to absorb all this information and my mind is working overtime, uh, the closest pocket to the five ball is, is actually the side pocket. So I'd like to be right about where this nine is and just kind of shoot the five into the side and just kind of roll up and leave the cue ball right about here so you can make the six in there in, in the corner. And shoot the eight, bounce out, and all you have is, or shoot the six, shoot the seven, bounce out, shoot the eight, shoot the nine, and you're done. You're, the game's yours. So any advanced nine ball player at this point where I'm at in this part of the game is saying to themselves, I won this game. All I have to do is go through the motion. But it, it turns into a train wreck, and I want to show you what I mean here. And we're probably going to go through this game twice so you can see with beyond a shadow of a doubt where the train wreck started where it ended. So the one and the two, that's easy enough. And, and after you decide where the five is going, where the six is going, you're, you're, and before you shoot the one, you're thinking backwards from four, three, two, and one. So let's continue. So the two is easy enough, and this shot looks tricky to some players, and this angle is not the best angle. But when you shoot this three down here, you're using the rail that the three is sitting on, and you're using this rail here to mount straight back up for the two. And if you don't know this shot, which you should if you're an advanced player, um, set it up a hundred times and, and shoot it and, and try to get perfect on the four ball. Just like that, you're going straight at that bottom round. You're not coming around the middle ball, it's too dangerous. You wind up right here and you're fucked. So there, there's where we are, we're trying to get in front of the nine, but I got in back of the nine, and um, that's the, I can tell I'm pissed off about where I got, because now I can't get straight in on the six to roll up on the seven, I'm going to have to figure something out here. I mean, I can make the five with, you know, no doubt about it, and bounce out, but I'm going to have the wrong angle on the 6 to get to the 7. So this right here, the shooting that 4 ball, and not coming in front of the 9 is where the train wreck started. So boom, hit the 8, and then come up short on the 6. You probably can't see it right, but I have the wrong angle here. I'm I'm short. I want it to come out here. Um, I can still shoot the six in the corner and just put a whole lot of juice on a whole lot of right hand English and try to come back behind the seven. But, you know, lately I've been having a problem with that shot. So I decided to go two rounds to get on the seven. And you can see how I did that. A little bit long on the seven. I'd have much rather been behind here. All this train wreck started before I even shot the five ball. So now look at me. I can't get on the eight the way I want to get on the eight. And I'm going to have to come to this rail and try to bounce over to here. Which is what I try to do, but I pussied it. 
I was a little bit scared of it because I know I have to put a little bit of left hand English on it. And um, it's just not my favorite shot. Plus, I'm shooting off the rail. So I just want to cinch the A and take what I can get out of here. This, the whole thing, this whole wreck again started when I shot the pin. And I just, I just never get back in a position. And look at the shot I have on the nine ball, man. And this is not an easy shot. You have to shoot it hard, but and you're going to be letting the cue ball loose, and it's going to be bouncing up and down the table on the far side. You could scratch here, you could scratch here, you could scratch in any pocket in the table. Um, but I have to go for it. I have to fire it in and just take what it gives me. There's a good chance I'm going to scratch it. Um, and I'm right here, too. Um, but I don't. Uh, and pretty much I got lucky in the end. But let's go back a little bit to the four ball shot. And that's where the whole thing got screwed up. And I know it got screwed up here. So what I wanted to do when I shot the three is get a little bit further on the other side of the table so I could have a better angle to get in front of this nine, not behind it. And if you know me well enough, you know if I'm looking over here to the to the side of the room or the other side of the room or anywhere but the pool table, I'm pissed off. I'm angry at myself if I'm looking at the room. And people recognize that and um, some sharks have tried to use that to their advantage. But I love when they shark me. It just pisses me off. <coughs> and I play better when I'm angry. So they learn real quick not to do that. So yeah, this is where the whole train wreck started. I came up behind the line. It's got a bad shape on the clock. And from there, I couldn't I couldn't get shape on the six, not the shape I wanted, and which meant I couldn't get shape on the nine, seven, and I couldn't get shape on the eight, I couldn't get shape on the nine. So I had to shoot my way out of it, and I was lucky to survive.